What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Super Villain, here with yet another sneaker review, and I'm hyped. I'm excited to do this review. The shoe isn't even mine, and I'm excited to do the review. Again, um, shout out to my boy, Ron. My boy, Ron, hooked it up. You know, he picked these up on the day that they released, and, you know, he was nice enough to let me do a, re a review for you guys. It's a Jordan 1. It's awesome. I'm gonna buy these. Haven't picked them up yet, but I'm definitely picking them up. It is the Nigel Sylvester Jordan 1. Wow, what a shoe. So just a little background story on this collaboration that um Jordan Brand did. This was a collaboration with BMX rider Nigel Sylvester. Um, he's more known for his GoPro videos that of him riding around New York City um, And the shoe that he typically wears is the Jordan Retro 1 um, And then as you can see he's got a bunch of scuffs as it's colored We'll dive more into detail into the shoe and why it is that that shoe is all scuffed up But um, just a little background information um, This actually isn't Nigel Sylvester's first shoe He has had an SB Dunk in the past um, so he's familiar with having his own signature shoe and this collaboration is also a Jordan brand kind of diving into the BMX scene. So now they are officially sponsoring Nigel Sylvester and they're trying to dive into that. They've been doing more, um, endorsements with other sports to try and get a bigger, get a bigger clientele base or customer base, if you will. This isn't the first time they've done this. Um, they recently just did a Paris St. German Jordan Retro 5, um, which is kind of to reach out to soccer fans since soccer or football, you know, depending on where you are in the world. Um, it is a worldwide love sport. So they collaborated with that team so they can reach a bigger base and um also of course we um it's been years but Jordan went along with baseball by signing Derek Jeter and making signature shoes under Derek Jeter. So they've been trying to get more than just the basketball fans. They've been trying to dive into other realms and get get more people to love Jordan, you know what I mean? But enough about that. Let's get into the shoe. So looking at the shoe, of course, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the shoe is like yellowed. Um, this is to give it that kind of worn vintage look. You see, it's got like some yellow stitching, some of it's white, so it, it looks like it happened due to age. So again, giving you that, that vintage look, which is kind of in right now. A lot of people going with like vintage styled uh, things. So you got like this off-white slash yellow midsole, red outsole, tumbled leather throughout the entire shoe. And this is some awesome tumbled leather. Again, they never disappoint with the Jordan 1 as far as the leather quality. On the front here, you have this pretty cool thing, which has never been done on the Jordan 1 before. It's like a mini embroidered swoosh. Um, it's kind of like an Air Max, Air Max 1 vibe here. And then we've got the this um it's a swoosh that's traced and like well, almost looks like pencil marks. And then there's also dots of like there having been a sewn on swoosh and then it got pulled off. It's kind of like a sample vibe here. And then we have of course that same effect on the wings logo here. Um, scuffs throughout the entire shoe, and this is, of course, um, since Nigel Sylvester is a I'm sorry, Nigel, Nigel Sylvester, <laughs> I butchered that, is a BMX rider, and he does wear these shoes a lot. His shoes do get scuffed by his um, his bike tires often, so that's what that's about. Um, then you got a black tongue with the red. Nike Air, 
on the medial side you have a 3m swoosh so that's pretty cool so this is an actual swoosh not like a drawn on or anything like the other side and this is 3m it's pretty cool that they did like you know both both sides of the shoe are um maybe some better lighting there are different um and then the outsole it's kind of like this oxidized red sole so to give it that worn in look um real big Lance Mountain vibes on this shoe. And then you've got, of course, two extra set of laces if you want to do black or do red. I think I would do um, black laces. I remember the first photo of the shoe that surfed, uh, surfaced was Nigel Sylvester holding them with a pair of black laces in the shoe. I thought that was dope. So that's definitely something I would do when I grab the shoe. On the inside, you've got a... Um, black insole with the I guess I'm lighting up here with the red Nike Air Jordan Biking Company established 2017 so that's them you know officially stating that they have a biking segment to Jordan brand and just to show you real quick guys too both shoes are actually not identical to each other so Everywhere you see all these scuffs on the left shoe, that's not necessarily the case for the right shoe. So, so you've got scuffs here. Well, both of them have scuffs in the front, but this one's got more scuff on the inner side where this one doesn't have. This one's got a toe box scuff. Um, same thing, see different, different areas of scuffs. To give it like a natural look, make it seem like these happened on their own um i really dig the shoe i think these are awesome you know this is one of those shoes that i wouldn't be afraid to beat up and it's just really cool every time they do these these theme shoes and they add all that extra detail i really appreciate it but now let's go ahead and take a look at the box, which is pretty cool as well. So they went along and did an awesome box, special packaging. This is what I'm talking about, guys. In my last video about the Akron and Prestos, you know, I said, you know, I feel like certain shoes should get a different box than regular shoes. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But see, this is a white and red Jordan 1 box, which I've never seen before. You know, it resembles the colors on the shoe. It's like an off-white instead of actual white. Um, and then instead of being a, like a lift top, it's a, you know, a typical shoe box design, but then it's also got this right here, which is cool. Um, this, I think, is like the typical Jordan NRG box. They just use different print, but like, you know, with the metal circle here, and you lift it off from the one side. So that's pretty cool. Um, on this side, you got Jordan Biking Company. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just, you know, the same as any Jordan 1 box, except it's off white and red. And then it has that, um, that uh, Biking Company logo there. This box is awesome. Just as awesome as the shoes. I love them. So, this shoe is, of course, sold out. It released on September 1st, and retail was $180. It released on the sneakers app and all those high-end Nike or Jordan accounts. Um, so if you want to pick these up, again, you're going to have to pay that extra buck. Go on StockX, go on Gold, hit up the plug, do what you got to do. Um, these, of course, are going to run like any other Jordan 1. It is a Jordan 1 after all. Jordan 1s do run true to size. So if you're not sure, just get your normal shoe size. Or, you know, you can always go to your local sneaker store. And they'll have other colors in the Jordan 1 that you could try on for size. I love this shoe. I'm just going to say it again. It's a Jordan 1, so of course I love it. And it's awesome. Having it in hand. I already wanted it, but I want it even more now that I'm holding it in my hand. And now this shoe makes me want Lance Mountains even more, so, you know, because it's all going along with that same thing. So, definitely going to pick these up in the near future. 
I'll keep you guys posted, let you know if I, when, if and when I do grab them. And that's about it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you till next time.